Hey, Kershaw County. This is Lauren Reeder, your public information officer. I am here today with Amy Kynard. Amy is the executive director of our Kershaw County Chamber of Commerce. She has been really pioneering the way for gathering all the resources businesses need as they weather COVID-19. We've brought Amy on here before, but today she's going to talk about two of the new federal programs that are out that businesses can take part of. So Amy, can you kind of tell us about those two programs? Absolutely. So the first is called the Economic Injury Disaster Loan, okay. or IDLE, IDLE, some people call it. Uh -huh. And that actually came out a couple weeks ago, and that uh, was specifically through the SBA. So uh, the message was go on the SBA website, apply for the loan as if there was any other sort of disaster. Okay. The second is the Paycheck Protection Program. Uh -huh which is different. Uh, it passed a little bit more recently, yes. last Friday with the CARES Act. And for that program, you actually have to go to a local lender uh, to apply and qualify for that. So can you tell us the difference you know, can, can, about each loan? And also, can, you, can businesses take part in both or just only one? Yeah, so businesses can take part in both, okay. but they can't use money from each of them for the same expenses. Okay. So, but let me tell you uh, exactly what they're each used one. for. Awesome. Right. So the idle loan, again, this is the one through the SBA uh, application process, uh -huh. is to pay fixed debts like mortgage, payroll, accounts payable, and other bills that can be that can't be paid during this difficult time. Okay. So that's that one. And then the uh, PPP loan mm -hmm. covers payroll, group health benefits, salary and employee commissions, interest on mortgages, rent, utilities, and interest on debt. So pretty much different, but there are some similarities, and that's what you were talking about with you can't really double dip. Correct. I got gotcha. Like payroll is listed in both. You can't cover put payroll twice yes. by applying for both. I got gotcha. you. Well, and there is some uh, difference in forgiveness of the loans, of each loans. Can you kind of explain that? There is. So with the idle loan, you can receive an advance of $10,000, um, which might be really helpful for some businesses who really need the money yeah. now. Um, and then if you're denied the loan, then that money does not have to be given back. So, so that's it kind of is like a grant. Like a grant, okay. exactly, exactly. With the PPP loan, on the other hand, this covers eight weeks of payroll costs, interest payments on mortgage, rent, utilities, and other interest. Uh -huh. So, you know, depending on your needs really depends on which, uh, which loan is best for you. And I, I do want to say for sure for everybody watching this video that there's so much more to each one of these programs. Yes. There's different terms, different interest rates. There's all kinds of different pieces and parts. Who's eligible? Some are eligible for one, but not both. So it's very important that you talk to your local lender, someone you already have a relationship with, your accountant, your very financial wise. advisor, somebody who can really help you decide which is most appro appropriate for you. But for them to get started, local businesses, as a way for them to kind of get to know these two programs, where can they kind of be a starting point for them? Sure, I think the best place to go is to our website. That's awesome. Yeah, we have been, putting information up about both of these programs mm -hmm. and uh, you know you can even do a comparison. Oh great. So uh, KershawCountyChamber.org is the website uh -huh. but I also just yesterday wrote a blog about it oh, uh, great. and the blog is available also at that same website where they can learn more and, and be connected to links that provide some more information. That is so great. Thank yeah. you so much, Amy, for yeah. sharing this. I just want to say thank you to the Kershaw County Chamber for housing all the business resources that are coming down from local, state, and federal agencies. Mm -hmm. um, if you go to KershawCountyChamber.org, you click on the COVID-19 uh, tab on the homepage, you will find everything that Amy and I have discussed today. You can also find a link to their website on our Kershaw County uh, website, which is Kershaw.sc.gov. 
thank you so much, Amy, for being here. Absolutely. Thank you, Kershaw County. We'll continue to have Amy on um, as new uh, information comes through uh, all, all types of local, state, and federal agencies so that we can keep you updated. Um, so stay strong, Kershaw County, and we'll see you soon.